we showed you how to turn your voice into a cute anime girl. We also showed you how to chat with your own AI girlfriend. But if that isn't enough for you, then let's take it to the extremes. Today, I'm gonna show you how to turn yourself into a cute AI girl. Hey, Bay, how's it going? I miss you. Come play with me. Yes, yes, yes. Gang, 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 gang. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <sighs> what am I doing with my life? You know, this is why I can't get a girlfriend. All right, let's get started. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to censor my face cause I'm afraid I'm too handsome. So, you know, if you see my face, you're just gonna stare at it and drool all day and not focus on the video. So first step is you're going to need a wig. Yes, I lied, this isn't completely free. You do need to buy a wig or at least grow your hair out to look like a girl. It's less than 10 bucks on AliExpress, so it's not gonna cost you a fortune. Once you have a wig, I promise the rest of this tutorial is going to be free. The next step is to change your voice into a girl. We first need to find a voice to convert to. Now, I previously suggested this Discord called AI Hub, which is great to browse AI voices that other people have trained. But it got shut down due to copyright issues literally while I was making this video. I hope the mods are able to sort it out somehow, but in the meantime, you can also search Hugging Face for AI voices. See our full tutorial here. Or another nice resource is voicemodels.com, which I'll link to in the description below. You can simply search for whoever's voice you want to use and see if they exist. Let's search for this Japanese singer called Minami. You can see that she does exist, so let's click on this download link and then download the zip file. And then unzip the PTH file somewhere to your computer. You only need the PTH file, you don't need the index file for this to work. Now, you can either turn your voice into a girl in real time while you're recording the video. You can use this free tool called W Okada Voice Converter. Check out this tutorial for all the details on how to install and use it. However, if your GPU is too slow, you can also record the video first and then extract the audio and use a voice to voice converter. And that's what I've done. So here's the original video. You can see it's still my voice. Into a cute AI girl. Hey bae, how's it going? I miss you. Come play with me. Yes, yes, yes. Gang gang, gang gang. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna first need to extract the audio from the video before we can plug it into the voice converter. Now, there are many ways to extract audio from your video. You can simply do a quick Google search and choose the tool that's right for you. I'm gonna use this free online converter called Free Convert. Simply upload your video and it'll spit out an MP3 file. Now that we have the audio extracted, the next step is to convert it to the girl's voice. I'll show you two free voice to voice converters that you can use. The first is called Kits AI, which I've done a tutorial on before. Check it out for more details. After you sign up for free, go to My Voices, click on the Uploaded tab, and then click Upload Voice. Let's call this Minami and then choose the Minami PTH file we just downloaded. Once it's uploaded, go to My Voices again, Uploaded, and then click on Use Voice. Next, let's upload my extracted audio. Again, here's what it sounds like. Into a cute AI girl. Hey bae, how's it going? I miss you. Come play with me. Yes, yes, yes. Next, adjust the settings to your liking. For male to female, I generally set the pitch to eight or above. For female to male, I'd set it to minus eight or lower. Since my audio recording is pretty clean, we can turn off the rest of these settings. Alright, let's click Convert. A few moments later. And here's what we get. Into a cute AI girl. Hey bae, how's it going? I miss you. 
Come play with me. Yes, yes, yes. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. So our voice is done. Let's save this. Note that Kits AI does have some limits for their free plan. So for a completely free alternative, you can also try out RVC. You can install and run this locally if you have a good enough GPU. Check out my full tutorial here. Quick thanks to the sponsor of today's video, HitPaw. HitPaw offers a suite of AI tools for video, images, and audio. They have a simple yet powerful AI video enhancer that helps you correct low quality videos in just a few clicks. Simply install their AI video enhancer here. It works for both Windows and Mac. Once you install it, you can simply drag and drop a video you want to enhance. Let's select one of the sample videos. You can see a lot of cool options to enhance your video, such as a denoise model, a face sharpener, plus you can click add model to see even more options, such as a stabilizer, a wide angle corrector, and my favorite one, a colorizer, which can add color to black and white videos. You can see this sample video is quite low quality and is only 352 by 198. Let's select this face model to add more details to her face, Plus, let's upscale it to 1080. Next, simply click export and wait for it to finish. Here's the end result. Pretty impressive considering this is from a video that's five times smaller. So again, this is HitPaw. Try it out for free with our link in the description below. Next, let's stitch our new voice into our video. You can use whatever video editor you want. Basically, you just need to mute your original track and then add in the new audio. Here's the final result into a cute AI girl. Hey Bay, how's it going? I miss you. Come play with me. Perfect, let's save this. All right, now that we have the voice changed, the final step is to change your face. We need to choose a face to convert to. A good resource for searching for faces is this platform called SeaArt, which I'll link to in the description below. Simply click on the Explore tab to browse through AI images that other people have made. What's great about this site is, once you click on an image, you'll see other similar images below, so you'll have plenty of images to choose from to find the perfect face for you. Let's go with this one. Simply right-click and save it to your computer. A few things to note is that the face doesn't have to be looking straight at the camera. You can see that for the photo I chose, she's slightly sideways, which is totally okay. Another thing is, try to find a face with the forehead exposed, like without bangs in the way. I find that when doing the face swap, which I'll show you in a second, bangs sometimes messes up the face. Alright, the final and most exciting step is the face swap. So we are going to use this free open source tool called Roop. It's actually a plugin for Automatic 1111 for face swapping images. But here we're going to use it to face swap an entire video. Head over to this collab notebook called Based Roop. I'll have the link to this in the description below. You'll have to log into Google if you haven't already. Next, you'll see three cells. Let's click run on the first cell. It might take one to two minutes to finish, but look out for this restart runtime message. You don't need to click restart runtime. Just ignore this and move on to the next cell. Let's click run and wait for it to finish. A few moments later. You'll see a green check mark to indicate that it has finished. Next, click on this folder icon to expand this folder column. We're gonna drag and drop both the video and the face into here. And actually, before you do that, make sure there are no spaces or special characters in the name of your files. If there are, rename them before you drag it and drop it in here. Okay, finally, in this third cell, we need to change some things in this line before we click Run. This is where your original video goes, so hover over the video you just uploaded, 
and then on the right you'll see three dots. Click into that and then click copy path. Then simply paste it in here. The next item is the photo of the face you want to convert to. This can take both JPEG or PNG. So same steps as before, hover over your face image and then click the three dots here, click copy path, and paste it in here. The last item here is the name of the converted video. You can name it to whatever you want, but we can just leave it as swapped.mp4. And that's all we need to do for this cell. Let's click run. Depending on how long your video is, this could take quite a while. For a one minute video, it usually takes me five minutes, so be patient and grab a coffee while you wait. A few minutes later. Three days later. One eternity later. Okay, if all goes well, you should see this success message. And you should see a new swapped.mp4 in this list. If you don't see it, click this refresh folder icon and it'll show up. Final step is to right click it and save it to your computer. Now let's play the final result. Into a cute AI girl. Hey bae, how's it going? I miss you. Come play with me. Yes, yes, yes. Gang gang, gang gang. Yes, yes, yes. And we are done. I won't be anywhere closer to getting a real girlfriend from doing this, but hey, at least I'll get a few more subscribers on YouTube. Hopefully. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Also, we built a site where you can search for all the AI tools out there. Check it out at ai-search.io.